Um, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, when we're solving for our equations, which is gonna be our next, uh, next step, the main important thing is, guys, we're just gonna solve this just like any other equation that we've um, done before. Rather than doing our, you know, a lot of our simplifying techniques, simply what I'm gonna do here is just get my cosine of x by itself, right? Because to find our values of my x, I need to get this cosine of x by itself. So what I need to do is undo the operation that's happening to it. So first thing we always undo is addition and subtraction. So I'll subtract the one on both sides. I get two cosine of x equals negative one. Then I'm gonna to wanna to undo the multiplication that's happening to it. So I'm gonna undo multiplication of two by dividing by two. So I get cosine of x equals negative one half. Then I need to see, well, what values work, work for um, when x equal or cosine of x equals negative one half? So I'll just go ahead and think about my unit circle and think about, well, cosine of x equals negative one half. I know at this angle and this angle. And I think, all right, well here, that's gonna be two pi over three. And this angle is four pi over three. All right, I kind of just already have everything. Memorize this angle is a negative one half, radical, radical three over two. This one is a negative one half, comma negative, radical three over two. Okay. Um, and that's just me, like I said, I just reprinted the unit circle for you. You guys, um, like I said, we've had a lot of practice knowing where those two points are, but you guys can obviously see that my x value for these two points is at negative one half, right? That's the only two values that we see. So I can say now that x equals two pi over three and x equals four pi over three. Does everybody got that? Does everybody understand really? So it equals both of them? It, it just goes up, yeah, because both of these values, my cosine, the x value, is negative one half. But remember, as we keep on going around, we have coterminal angles, right? Remember I showed you with the graph? We have our coterminal angles that it's just not two pi over three, it's also all the multiples of two pi over three. So I need to add two pi n plus two pi n. Okay? Because we're also going to add all the multiples of that answer as well, or else any coterminal angle of uh, four pi over three is also gonna produce you a cosine of x, or, uh, or cosine of x, which equals negative one half. All right, and that's really all we're going through with this.